are you gonna say nah i don't do baby family stuff i don't shoot that it's like obviously you don't shoot that but you shoot this guy's family because he's your client and this could be an ongoing relationship this is the cardi method focus on a clients like the letter a meaning a type clients because not all clients are created equal a eh? and focusing on a type clients is a strategic approach that i strongly advocate for and in my teachings in my methodology a type clients are those that actually truly value your work they pay you on time and they're likely to refer you to other clients a type clients recognize the quality and the uniqueness of your work and your service and a type clients are willing to invest in you by identifying and prioritizing a type clients you actually can allocate your resources more effectively in your marketing towards them which ensures that you deliver exceptional service to no matter who you deal with but when you target to a type clients those people actually have the money to pay you so you have to also not only meet expectations for these A-type clients, but you have to exceed their expectations. When you do that, it turns them into not just loyal advocates for your business, but it turns them into evangelists. Like if I photograph somebody once, they'll remember me for 20 years. They'll recommend me to anybody they can throw a rock at that needs a photographer. Like once because the way that i have my business set up is to create evangelists like literally throw a rock on toronto you know a photographer they'll be like steve cardi steve cardi he's the guy <laughs> so it's just 30 years of creating evangelists like you need to start doing that right now you have to keep those a type clients so Developing a strong relationship, by the way, with those A-type clients is kind of how we do it. Regular communication, personalized service for them helps maintain and strengthen those relationships. Hey, you know what? I don't usually do that, but I'll do that for you. And it's not because I'm not saying like you're a, a headshot photographer and they're asking you to shoot products. I'm saying you're a headshot photographer and they ask you to shoot a family picture. For them come by to their house and take pictures of their wife and kids that's something that you say yes to that means now you're on the inside that's a client that you could work with for life are you gonna say nah i don't do baby family stuff i don't shoot that it's like obviously you don't shoot that but you shoot this guy's family because he's your client and this could be an ongoing relationship if you don't have that closeness with the client yet send up follow-up emails after you've worked with people to check in on their satisfaction offer like exclusive previews of the work that you did for them or offer an exclusive promo or discount on a new service that you're going to be offering soon simply wishing them well on special occasions actually does something like have them fill out a client profile get their birthday in there send them a little hey thank you for working with me and happy birthday on their birthday they'll be like oh my god how did this guy know it was my birthday staying in touch show that you value them beyond just their business which enhances client loyalty literally in my business i've seen client relationships at times be the strongest ever but if you just like let go of that balloon just for like i don't know a few months next thing you know you go reaching for that it's like that balloon's gone they're they're hanging out with someone else so you have to continually be nurturing those relationships also consistently providing that crazy service that like only you can provide ensures that they remain satisfied and they continue to refer you to their network that's what we need to actually have happen what happens then is it creates a ripple effect and that ripple effect attracts more clients high value clients and i gotta tell you the secret to maintaining strong relationships with your clients is just 
follow-ups. Hey, are you happy with our work? Are you happy with the shoot? What could I have done that would have made you happier? Oh my God, you were amazing. You did this, this. Yeah, but what would have been better? Well, you know, when I came, I did really need a water and you didn't offer me a water when I got there. That would have like, and I'm like, <gasps> ask questions after because the simplest things that like we're not even thinking about we're doing xyz and lighting and all that stuff like ask them afterwards and put them into a directory again indie is another amazing i'm going to keep saying it until you sign up for indie this is how you maintain these client relationships because you can say hey i reached out on this day and like reach out again like this day a week or now or two from now and then reach out again on this one and this is his birthday send this on this like you can start mapping out these relationships and start inviting these people to things that you're doing you have to actually stay really tuned in so an important aspect, by the way, on focusing on A-type clients is recognizing the advantage of working with businesses over individuals. It's rare that your A-type client is going to be an individual. It's probably going to be a business. Businesses have marketing budget, which makes them more likely to invest in professional photography. They have a team. like individuals who might need your services occasionally they're gonna they're gonna lowball you they're gonna be like a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand dollars twenty five hundred dollars five thousand dollars what it's like where when you say to a business yeah what you need me to do that ask it's five thousand dollars they're like okay let me get signed let me get a sign off <laughs> like it's totally different. They have marketing budgets. People don't have marketing budgets to pay you. They're, it's just coming out of pocket. So if you're barking up the tree of individuals and wondering why you're not closing, do you think individual individuals can pay my day rate? Like, come on. You, and you have different pricing structures for like businesses and people. And again, this is another reason why you should get my pricing guide, but People only require your services occasionally, where businesses can provide a steady stream of work from corporate headshots to product photography, to event coverage, to branding products. Understanding your ideal client profile, especially understanding their industry and their specific needs, what that does is it allows you to tailor your marketing efforts to attract these high value clients by targeting businesses and nurturing relationships with A-type clients, you can build a sustainable and profitable business.